Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Dhawal Mehta and today we will understand how to generate descriptive statistics in Python. So we will go in the Python notebook. Import NumPy as NP. Import Pandas as PD. These are all preliminary libraries which are required. From Pandas import series. From Pandas import the data tree. Now you will require one more uh, library that is SkyPy library to generate some statistics. Now this SkyPy is not available in Anaconda data science uh, package. You will have to install separately. So if you want to install any package separately, you will go in the command prompt and you will write down pip install SkyPy. And the installation process will be initiated. Once this is done, you will be able to run this command import SkyPy from SkyPy import steps. Now we will import the data file that is empty cars in notebook. We will be running the command data frame is equal to pd dot read underscore csv r. r is used for smooth import of the data file. So shift enter and we will be able to get the data frame. Now here the variables which are there is our model miles per gallon, number of cylinders, displacement, horsepower, displacement rate, weight of the vehicle, QSEC, vertical and straight engine, automatic and manual car, number of gears and number of carburetors. Now we want to generate some statistics like sum, mean, median and mode. So the first command which I will write is df.sum and it will give me the summation of this variables column wise. See, it will be total of miles per gallon, cylinder, that way. So, this gives me the summation column wise. If I want to have row wise, I will specify df.sum axis is 1. So, now I will, so now the total will be done like this way like this way so it is a row total that previous one was a column total if you don't specify axis one it is a column total the next thing which i can generate is df median median of all these variables i can also generate df mean df dot mean round bracket df minimum the minimum values in this uh, all the variables df dot maximum round bracket. Now I want to extract mpg from the data frame. First of all, what I'll do, I'll run the command mpg is equal to df dot mpg. And when I will run the command mpg dot idx max, it will tell me the location where the maximum mpg is found. Let me run the command. So 19 number observation is the is the place where maximum mpg is there let us go and see in the data frame 19 it is 33.9 which is maximum mpg you can see yeah, it is identified now we will run the command df dot standard deviation so it will give me the standard deviation of all the variables df dot variable uh, df dot variance will give me the variance of all this basically variance is a square of these variables so if i take square of this i will get 36 if i take square of this i will get this one it's a square of it now i'm extracting gear from the uh, from the data frame it is a categorical variable and therefore we cannot run mean median mode here here we will have to use counts and therefore we want to count that how many cars are having number of gears three so there are 15 cars such which are having number of gears three 12 cars are such which are having number of gears four and five are cars are such that they are having five gears so first of all after extracting gear from the data frame we'll run the command gear dot value underscore counts 
You can also use the blanket command that is df dot describe, which will describe the, which will describe the uh, descriptive, which, which will give which will give the basic statistics of all the variables: MPG, cylinder, displacement. So we can get mean, standard deviation, minimum, first quartile, second quartile, third quartile, and maximum. Now I will activate import research by as RP. Now this package is not available in Anaconda, and so you will have to go in C prompt and you will have to write down pip install research by enter, and the installation process will be initiated. Once this is done, you will be able to activate from here the functionalities of research. So import research by as RP. Now what I want is the summary. The summary of two variables MPG and cylinder. So I'll write down RP dot summary underscore con continuous DF. When it will be a category, I'll be writing here category cat. So DF square bracket mpg and cylinder so i'll get the output you can see the output here now if i want to have statistics of mpg according to the number of years we can use group by here also so i'm giving the command here that calculate the mileage of the vehicle according to the number of gears which are there so three gears and its statistics, that is, this statistics of four gear and overall aggregate statistics, five gear and overall aggregate statistics. I can also use grouping with two categories rp dot summary underscore continuous df dot group by gear and am. So the grouping is done is to be done according to the gear and am and we want the aggregate value of mpg and cylinder so when i run it gives me this output three gears automatic four gears automatic and manual five gears manual now for three gears it has not generated any uh, any value for manual because we don't have any car with three gear which is manual and here we don't have any car with five gear which is automatic and therefore it is not generated there is nothing else uh, there is no other logic here so three gears automatic and its descriptive statistics four gear automatic descriptive statistics four gear manual that way now, if you are having a categorical variable, this RP package will work as RP dot summary underscore cat DF gear. And therefore, it will count that how many cars are there with three gears, four gears, and five gears. And it will also give you the percentage. It can also handle the multiple categorical variable. So, RP dot summary underscore cat DF two times square bracket. And what I will get is combination of gear outcome 3 4 5 automatic and manual count and percentage if you are having a missing value then what you will write down df gear in square bracket then square bracket 0 equal to double inverted commas rp dot summary then cat df Gear. So it will show the missing value as its own one category that this is a missing value and when you will run you will get this output. Now if missing is indicated by numpy.n it will be excluded from the count. So if you specify that we don't want to include the missing value. See here it will count the missing value in this command. But if I specify it as np.nan. So same command I am repeating here df gear 0 is equal to np dot nan and then I will run this rp dot summary underscore category. It will not count the missing value. It will not count the missing value. Now you can arrange uh, 
the count in ascending or descending. So if I write down here rp dot summary underscore cat df gate ascending false. So ascending is false. I'll get 15, 11, 5. But if I make it, uh, if I run this command with ascending true, you can see the changes which are happening. 5, 11 and 15. So now it is ascending is true. So this is a way you can generate descriptive statistics in Python. For more videos on data science using Python, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please don't forget to press the like button. I have already uploaded many videos of data science using Python. Please refer my playlist.